Hello, N3FJZ here. Okay, I've completed the construction of the audio amp, module number 150. And I'll put it through its paces and go over uh, the adjustment process on how to set the crossover bias. And um, again, <clears throat> this is on my website. Here's the schematic. And the website, of course, is uh, circuit6040. And if you click down here on max SSB transceiver, and you scroll down to module 150, it will bring it up. We have a schematic. And There's the layout down here, and there's a photo. Okay, here I have the uh, audio amp, module 150, <clears throat> on the test setup, and I'm also, uh, I'll be driving it with the uh, two-tone uh, audio generator here. To give us something to listen to. And okay. Now the first step before you power this thing up is to um, adjust the crossover bias pot for minimum resistance. In my case I wired it in such a way that turning it counterclockwise all the way down will give you minimum resistance on the schematic the minimum resistance would be effectively uh, causing the, the, the two base leads of the two tran the driver transistors to be uh, practically the same voltage okay this is the crossover uh, distortion adjustment Okay, uh, power it up, and while there is no signal on the input, and you want to supply the maximum voltage that you expect to power your, your rig with, in this case 13.4 roughly, and while monitoring the current going into the audio amp with no input signal, you want to adjust that bias pot for a maximum of about 20 milliamps. And of course the test requirement is that there is no input signal or the volume is turned all the way down. Either way, as long as you're not drawing current through the uh, transistors for audio, and you'll bring this up to 20 milliamps, roughly. Okay. With that set, and we're going to turn the volume up here. And with that adjustment, we should be good. Now you want to be careful not to um, to increase the bias over 20 milliamps. Uh, the transistors, the driver transistors, will will go into thermal runaway, and you'll have some problems. As long as you stay around 20 milliamps or so on on idle with no uh, no signal input. You may want to monitor this, check it every after it's run for a while, just to uh, keep it at 20.
And of course, as you increase the uh, audio adjustment, your current will go up. But the important thing is when there's no volume or when the volume pull way down, you'll have 20 milliamps running through those two driver transistors. Okay, uh, here I have it <clears throat> connected temporarily to my uh, to my other rig, just to get an idea of the uh, operation here. So there you have it, uh, the uh, Max SSB audio amp with TX mute module 150. Oh, I didn't demonstrate the TX mute. Uh, the way this works is um, to eliminate any popping sound when you go from receive to transmit. Uh, the when the transmitter is engaged. In the receive position, you'll have voltage going into the uh, into the uh, plus VRX. And when it transfer, when it changes over to transmit, it mutes the volume or it mutes the um, the output. So there shouldn't be any pops. So. And three, FJZ, seven, three, everyone.